Good morning, Spiritual View family. How are you? It's Marsha, 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 coming back again on this Monday morning with a little spiritual guidance for you. Let's drop in and see what spirit has for us today. <clears throat> I don't know how you all fared with the energies over the weekend, but wow, those solar flares energetically <clears throat> just really wiped me out. I was so, I don't know, lethargic, um, really lots of headaches and such. So I certainly felt that energy in ways I can't even imagine. I did get a chance to also get out here in the Midwest and see those Northern lights it's just amazing what the universe can do and can show us. And maybe that's a metaphor for this week. So real quickly, before I jump into the reading, let's just do some housekeeping things. You know the deal. Like this video, please, and interact with us so we can grow this channel and reach other like-minded people. Certainly do subscribe and hit that notification button so you are alerted when we have new videos. And right now that is Monday through Friday with a special bonus this week. The girls, the girls, I'm sorry, the ladies here on the Spiritual View, we are all getting together in a round table format um, and that will air Friday evening. So do come back for that. Um, I don't wanna give any spoilers away, but there may or may not be uh, an opportunity for a giveaway. So check us out Friday night. The topic is going to be the fool's journey. Um, each of us, I think, will share a little bit about <clears throat> our own experience in the archetypal journeys and spiritual lessons that come to us um, starting when we hear the call, the fool's journey, the call to the heart. So let me get a couple of oracle cards here up for us here for us for today and then we'll get going with the tarot message i'm just calling in my guides here ascended masters ancestors those that have messages that need to be delivered today for the best and highest good let me be a clear conduit Hmm. All right, here we go. Vacation. Take time for relaxation and adventure. I feel like uh, that's very well timed. We have a lot of graduations happening. End of school years. At the end of the this month in uh, the States anyway will be Memorial Day, the kick off to summertime. So maybe you're planning a vacation. What else do we have here? Dreams. Believe in your dreams. <clears throat> we'll talk a little bit more about this, but I certainly feel like that's pretty much the theme of this week. The astrology speaks to between now and the 25th, some of the most magnificent manifest in, manifesting potential that there is, um, not just this year, but in many years to come. So don't be shy. You should be believing in your dreams. And underneath we have confrontation. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. A little froggy here. Uh, pick your battles wisely. A little bit like the strength card here I'm seeing. You know, oftentimes the confrontation that happens in believing in our dreams is within ourself. <clears throat> and sometimes you just need to pull back a little bit. Give yourself some grace, right? If you can't get away physically, get away in nature, in your mind, where you can hear the birds, hear the rustling of the leaves. And I feel like this confrontation card 
paired with the dream card is almost telling us, you know, there's a gestation period for the dreams that we have. And we don't need to tell everybody just as they're being gestated. Similar to a pregnancy, you know, there's the folklore, the theory, you don't tell anybody during the first trimester. Well, maybe in this instance, we don't tell anybody for the first couple of trimesters, right? We just um, avoid those confrontations. We choose those battles wisely so we can stay in the flow of our dreams. I feel very much like that's coming through today. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm going to stop and take a drink because I'm going to have to clear my throat again. My goodness. <clears throat> okay. That might be a little better. It's been cloudy and overcast and stormy and rainy and allergens and I'm not making excuses, but uh, the weekend did a doozy on me, as I said. All right, here we go. Ah, Spirit, what is on our path today? Let's get after it. Okay, showing up as the high priestess, tapping into our intuition. I love that. <clears throat> the challenge in the day is three of swords, overcoming some kind of emotional pain or trauma. The opportunity here is three of wands. Okay. Let's keep going. High Priestess, followed by Three of Wands and Three of Swords. So I think you know this is time to do the final clearing. You have to make room in your life for the new things that you've called in. Are you doing that? Are you really actively doing that, taking the steps to clear and purge physically, emotionally, or otherwise, because you know you are a manifesting maven. You are calling in your dreams. So real quickly, let's just tap into the astrology of this week. It is bookended by some fantastic energy. Today, Monday, we have the sun conjunct Uranus. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. So whatever your thoughts are brooding and breeding will manifest and it will manifest so quickly in this energy right now. You can't even believe it. <clears throat> by the end of the week, it is bookended by the sun conjunct Jupiter. So everything you're manifesting on Monday, you're going to hold space for on Tuesday. You're going to pray and dream about on Wednesday. By Thursday, the belief in the feeling, the believing come together. And by Friday, you're ready to launch. Saturday, it's here. That is how the astrology will roll out this week. So don't be afraid to dream big. What happens after that is, let's see, Saturday's the 18th. Next week, the energy just expands even more with the most luscious, lovely full moon in Sagittarius on the 23rd, followed two days later by Jupiter entering Gemini. So these next two weeks is the final purge, the final purge of whatever it is that's holding you back from your dreams. You have called it in. You know it's coming clearly by this high priestess three of wands energy. But the challenge still is in the letting go. The letting go, the mind games that we play that keep us wrapped up and cut us. That's barbed wire around that heart, right? Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> I like where this is ending, though, on this focusing on the foresight of still calling in our dreams. Now, well, let's get my deck oriented here. Nine of Cups, I love it. Eight of Swords, okay. The Sun. Well, wish fulfillment. <clears throat> Following this self-limiting and negative thoughts. 
So congratulations. I think you really are moving past. You've heard me speak about it before. The legacy in life that you were born to is not the legacy in life you were actually born to live. No. And what's been happening up until now, no matter what your age is, is that you've been clearing karma for yourself and for your ancestors. And ahead of you in the very near future are positive outcomes. Look at that unicorn. I just, um, the magic, the serendipity of believing in magic unfolding for you in everyday things. When you're brushing your teeth, when you're driving to work, when you're pecking away at the computer screen, there is magic all around you. Oh, I love that. And I'm not uh, forsaking this eight of swords right in the middle, but I feel like on the front end of it, we've got nine of cups. And on the back end of it, we've got the sun. And knowing that you are showing up as High Priestess this week, I believe you know how easy it is to either get wrapped up in this or completely look away from it. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to believe the things that people said or believe the patterns. It's time to purge all of that. And this, we could be talking about physical things as well, although I don't see many pentacles on the on the table as of yet. All right, let's see where we're going, where we're ending up with our advice for the day. Magician, six of wands, nine of swords. We're not leaving on the nine of swords. Those mindsets are just, they run deep, I understand. Believe me when I say they do, I, I understand, but this is the end. So we've gone from eight of swords, back up, magician, six of wands, nine of swords. What is that, did I say earlier, making room? Making room for what you're manifesting. In this instance, this is making room in your mind. The battle is with yourself. The victory is at hand for you. You have everything that you need to manifest your dreams. And I know we talk about this a lot, but in a very practical sense, it, it starts with a feeling. What do you have a burning desire that you're focused on? This week, I want you to actually write yourself post-it notes, remind yourself daily, make the budget for it, right? Investigate.com names. If it's a relationship that you're trying to manifest, is there inner work that still needs to be done? I think so. There's got to be some letting go here. You're clearly overthinking your perceived um, and self-imposed limitations. That is what this is. And it is taking up rent, it, free rent in your head far too long. What the Nine of Swords really calls for is a time of meditation. You do need to pause. We don't have hanged man here but following this period of kind of anxiety still there is four of swords healing you are going to come out of this fairly quickly i feel by the end of this week jupiter's expansive energy will will not and should not let you stay um, sulking for much longer. And where are you going? You are moving on. This is a spiritual journey. Eight of cups back to this nine of cups here. Wish fulfillment. You just have to take the steps and you know you have to take the steps and clear. There will be some fast communication. This could be movement, immediate action. 
I think that will definitely get you out of your mind. You need to be in nature every day. Mm -hmm. All right, <clears throat> underneath the deck, we've got Five of Cups, Regret, Failure, Disappointment, followed by the Knight of Cups, followed by Justice, and Queen of Swords in reverse. I don't normally read reversals, but that's interesting. There is a lack of clarity kind of in what you don't see coming. Well, not lack of clarity, excuse me. I think you have been spiteful and cruel in how you talk to yourself. It may have come from somewhere else over time. You may not realize it, but you are not protecting you. That's what's at the core here. a sense of abandoning yourself. But good news is there is a creative, romantic person perhaps who is gonna come in and help you balance that. Look how clearly in this justice card, that sword that is in front of her, I am just struck by a feminine version of Excalibur here. Pulling that sword out of Excalibur, knowing the truth, right? Completely opposite of this energy, not manipulative, not you know, playing mind games with yourself. This is knowing your truth. That heart chakra on fire, protecting something so near and dear to your heart that you cannot not manifest. <laughs> <clears throat> I love that for you. Uh, I'm also drawn to this page of pentacles that's under here. Manifested, grounded ambitions. Okay what I just said. Ace of Swords. Woo! You are going to have the breakthrough, the mental clarity this week. And there will be a real celebration. A homecoming. You don't see this coming. This is all underneath the deck. Last one, and then we have to be done. Lordy. Leading to manifestation in the real world. Like I said, this week starts off kind of in this ethereal sun conjunct Uranus. Anything and everything is possible. You have an inner knowing, trust your sacred knowledge, walk away and purge anything and everything that is making you feel trapped or powerless, whether it's a person, a job, <clears throat> excuse me. And I understand we can't just walk away from things, but in the mind, right? I mean, I was just thinking about, gosh, this is kind of a depressing example, but Viktor Frankl or somebody who survived a very horrific imprisonment, but you can't imprison my mind, right? You have that much power in your day-to-day -day life, in the little bits that get you through the life, the daily work that you do in the laundry, in the shuffling the kids back and forth to school, in the whatever, be especially aware this week of how you're talking to yourself. It will matter. It manifests a feeling, right? Don't go back to the past. Don't keep reliving things. Think about that future. Be that person now. How does it feel? Hold on to that. And by the week's end, look at what's showing up. <laughs> so much clarity and joy and happiness and abundance. Mm. 
Spiritual View family, I am so excited for this week. Listen, come back on Friday. Hang out with us Friday night as we talk about our personal fool's journey. Okay. And our sweary affirmation for today that wanted to jump out is, that's my version of a drum roll. My future is a golden, sparkly explosion of fucking awesomeness. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy that. Repeat that to yourself. Screenshot this, cut it out, put it on your mirror, put it on as a screensaver on your phone. My future is a golden, sparkly explosion of fucking awesomeness. And so it is. All right, Spiritual View family. The links are down below if you'd like to book a personal reading with me or any of the other ladies here on the spiritual view. And I hope you'll come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and then come back on Friday. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.